Wisconsinites are used to snowy weather. But when it snows as much as this, not everyone is as prepared as they should be. I am here inside a giant oven that you can only find at Madison's very first feed kitchen. Now I know it may look nice outside, but don't let that sun fool you. With temperatures only reaching about 14 degrees today and it feeling like about four, not everyone is outside celebrating the new season. Governor Walker's plans are still unknown on a bill that would make it harder to force a school to remove its American Indian mascot. Cranberries, stuffing, potatoes, and don't forget the turkey. These are just a few of the Thanksgiving dishes that have been on the minds of volunteers in Madison. The Goodman Community Center held its annual Thanksgiving basket charity event, and today, families finally got to take their baskets home. The families who are picking up for Thanksgiving baskets don't have another option for having a turkey for Thanksgiving. So some would probably go up possibly without any food for the day, or you know they definitely wouldn't be able to afford the full, um, complete Thanksgiving basket with the turkey and all the fixings. The Goodman Center is only five years old, but has already made an impact throughout Madison with several different outreach programs. And the Thanksgiving program has had one of the biggest effects, bringing families hope at a time when they otherwise couldn't make their own traditional holiday meal. In the bakes today, we're providing um, everything you need for a complete Thanksgiving meal. So we have turkey, we have stuffing, we have gravy, cranberries, um, either a, a, a ready-made pie or stuff to make a pie. Over 2,500 people signed up to receive bags with many more families on the waiting list. And with so much work to do, the center brought in as much help as they could get. There were um, 18 boxes of 36 each, so we ended up doing 648 packages of celery. It was pretty simple because we would call each other's names and then pass it to somebody well, and then we would put them down and make a wall and then that. Wishing you a happy Thanksgiving. I'm Taylor Chase, 27 News. Wisconsin is one of the nation's wealthiest states for water, but that water is being threatened by something many people don't even know exist, leaking underground storage tanks. Most of these tanks hold petroleum. They tend to be at the sites of old gas stations and over time have been abandoned or forgotten. This has left the DNR with the task of locating the tanks and cleaning up sites before permanent damage is done. Underground storage tanks uh, represent a point, a point source of, of contamination. Uh, I think we all can agree that uh, you know petroleum products are better if they are not allowed to get into our local groundwater system. As of 2013, there are just over 70 tanks in Dane County that still need to be cleaned up, with more being added every year. There were a lot of programs that came up around those underground storage tanks, and, um, and there's been a lot of cleanup. I think that the cleanup has been fairly successful, especially when you're talking about like the smaller gasoline stations um, and those storage tanks that just were essentially creating a pretty localized impact. The DNR has said in a statement to the Badger Report that since regulation began in the 90s, the total number of underground storage tanks has greatly decreased. In the meantime, all property owners are required by state law to report a tank and in many cases conduct an environmental review for groundwater contamination. With the Badger Report, I'm Taylor Chase. Today, Madison got about two and a half inches of snow and it's still falling. But while most people are ready for winter to be over with, hardware stores are just starting to get excited. Sure, uh, we've been selling an awful lot of sand, salt, shovels, snow blowers have been very popular. The last month or so we've gone through an, a whole bunch of all of those products. And outdoor supplies aren't the only things they sell. Owners say people also need to be concerned about the inside of their house with things like window insulators. I mean most of that stuff does kind of pay for itself too so I mean it's you know it's in most of it's not technically very hard to do so if you're paying your own heat or even if you're for your comfort level those are kind of nice things to kind of to kind of try yourself. But regardless of what people buy owners want to make sure they're buying the right thing. We've also unfortunately been selling a lot of regular softener salt and the softener salt will work up until five degrees but anything below five degrees the softener salt will not melt and even when it does work it doesn't melt as quickly as the mixes or blends of chlorides do. 
and with it being only the beginning of December, people will have plenty of time to buy all the supplies they need. This is Taylor Chase, 27 News. Bet you can't guess who this Santa's waving at. It's the second annual Santa Swimsuit Run. They're fun people, they're charitable. Um, we just enjoy having them out here today, especially when the wind chill's 10 below zero. Over 300 people attended the event on Capitol Square, and organizers say over $7,000 was made just this morning. Well, if I can't take it, no, I can't take it. Christmas carolers chose the warmer option and sang inside today at the Children's Museum. There was also a trolley for people wanting to do some holiday shopping on State Street, just in time for our first major snowstorm scheduled for tomorrow. This is Taylor Chase, 27 News.